Okay, so in this video, we will find the following limit using first the method of conjugation, as we have a difference involving a square root, and second using L'Hopital's rule. So as always, let us check what kind of case we're dealing with. As x approaches 4, root of x will approach root of 4, which is 2, minus 2 is 0. As x approaches 4, x squared will approach 16, minus 16 is equal to 0. So we have a 0 over a 0 case. But as I've just said, as we have a difference here involving the square root, we can use the method of conjugation, and we will also factor this difference of squares. First step will conjugate. The conjugate of root of x minus 2 is the root of x plus 2. But we can only multiply an expression by 1 so as not to change it. So we have to also divide by root of x plus 2. As the quotient is simply 1. Now, let us multiply the numerator. So the term with its conjugate. So we'll have root of x times root of x is x. And this is where it's interesting, plus 2 root of x, minus 2 root of x, so these two terms cancel, plus minus 2 times 2, minus 4. So on the numerator, we're left with simply x minus 4. On the denominator, I will now factor x squared minus 16 as x minus 4 times x plus 4, basic difference of squares, and we're also left with root of x plus 2. As x approaches 4, x minus 4 is very close to 0, but not exactly 0. So we can cancel the two factors of x minus 4. And, as we're about to see, the limit now becomes trivial. Well, as x approaches 4, 1 is always 1, so 1 stays 1. As x approaches 4, x plus 4 will approach 4 plus 4, which is 8. As x approaches 4, root of x will approach root of 4, which is 2, plus 2 is 4. So in the end, the limit ends up being 1 over 32. So we have here one solution using the method of conjugation, but again, as the case is 0 over 0, L'Hopital's rule also applies. Every time we use L'Hopital's rule, we want to write above the equal sign LH to be very explicit that we are going from the original to the new limit using L'Hopital's rule. The limit always stays the same, so x is still approaching 4. And now, as always, we will replace both the numerator and denominator by their respective derivatives. Well. The derivative of root of x minus 2 is simply 1 over 2 root of x. And the derivative of x squared minus 16 is simply 2x. We can simplify if we want just a little bit. So 1 over 2 root of x over 2x will be simply 1 over 4 x root of x. And the limit now is trivial. So, as x approaches 4, 1 stays 1. 4 also stays 4. As x approaches 4, x approaches 4. And as x approaches 4, root of x will approach root of 4, which is 2. So, we have 1 over 16 times 2, 1 over 32. And that's it.